Hey Bree, so what's this all about? You got some eggs sitting inside these jars here. And what do you got right there? I have vinegar, I have white vinegar, and then I have a full side of vinegar. And I'm gonna pour the vinegar in above the eggs, not to the top of the jar, but above the eggs. And what's that gonna do? It's like inside your body, kind of. It's gonna be soft like skin, and it's like the inside of an egg is like the inside of your body. Oh really? So is it kind of like the intestines? Yeah. Oh, that'll be cool. Okay, go ahead. How long are we supposed to leave these eggs in here like this? 24 hours. Alright, so it looks like we had enough of the white vinegar. We didn't have to use any of the apple cider vinegar, huh? Yeah. Cool. Eggs are kind of floating, so we have to Maybe. No, that's okay. They'll, they'll just hang out. This is the membrane. It's kind of like our small intestine. So it feels kind of weird, huh? Yeah. It feels like skin, doesn't it? Yeah. As a side experiment, we're going to see if the eggs dehydrate without the shell and water. And how are we going to do that? We're going to weigh them okay. first. So let's turn on the scale. Okay, so we're just going to leave it overnight, right? Yep. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think they'll dehydrate at all? Maybe. Or do you think they'll weigh the same when we weigh them tomorrow? Probably All right, Bree, so we're here 48 hours later. Tell me what happened. First, we weighed the egg and it ended up being 72 um, grams for egg one and then 70 for egg two. And we left them out for 24 hours and egg one ended up to be 50 grams and egg two ended up to be 44 grams. And we left them out for another 48 hours. And egg one ended up to be 44 grams and egg two ended up to be 44 grams too. <clears throat> what did the egg look like? It was all wrinkled and it almost died. It almost died? Yeah. <laughs> Looked like it was almost going to die and then we put it back in water and it went back to its normal form like that. Oh, so we put you put it back in water and what happened? It went back to its normal form. Look at that. It's not wrinkled anymore. What do you think about that experiment? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Up. Go ahead and put the egg on the scale. Let's take a look at how heavy it is. Wow, look at that. So it's 79 grams as compared to 72 grams when we first pulled it out of the vinegar. Not 79 grams. Mm -hmm. um, Let's take a look at what the second egg weighs. Seventy-eight grams. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and write down that egg number two, 78 grams. All right, Bray, so tell me a little bit about what we're gonna do here. I noticed you wrote down Scratch Labs has is 80 calories, goo is uh, 100 calories, and it also suggests to eat goo every 45 minutes. How long are we going to do the experiment for? Two hours. Okay, so two packets over the course of two hours. Get what? How many calories total? 200? 200. And then EFS, what's going on here? 
96 calories every 30 minutes. Uh -huh, so we're going to do t how much? Um, so it says every 30 minutes. That's interesting. So every 30 minutes, we should actually multiply that by 4. So you just updated that. What does that say? 96 times 4 equals 384. So 384 calories over 2 hours. So what are we going to do with these jars? We're going to We're going to fill each one up with one of these and then we're going to put an egg in it. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get to it. Go ahead and stir it up. Make sure it dissolves down there. Alright, so now you're going to have to measure the egg first, remember? Go ahead and come over here and measure the egg. Now they bounce around in the water. <laughs> And how much does that weigh? 89 grams. Okay, go ahead and write that down on your piece of paper over there. 89 grams. Okay, and go ahead and plop that inside the, the water. Be careful how you put it in there. Slowly, so it doesn't splash. Okay, let go, let go. All right. <laughs> okay, let's start that timer. How much 95 grams. Okay. And how much is that one weighing? 92 grams. 92 grams. Oops, we've got to start the timer on that one. Okay. And pop that one in there. Alrighty. Okay, let go. And start that timer. Oh, try it again. There you go. All right, so we're going to let these sit in here for Two how hours. long? Two hours. All right, we'll come back. All right, here we are two hours later. So what do you think? Which one do you think is going to be the one that shrank the most? Uh, this, uh, this one. You think so? That's the one that goes in, right? <clears throat> yes. All right, well, let's get to measuring, huh? Mm-hmm. Dang, this is really juicy. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. This, an e this one is an EFS one. Okay. And now it weighs 73 grams. 73 grams, okay. Can you get it out of there? Careful, careful not to squeeze it too much. There's now this one weighs 86 grams. Okay. Oh, that one, it looks like you're going to have to fish. That one's pretty solid. Here, just dump the water or dump it in there maybe. Let me wipe this off for you. Jump the egg too? No. Try and catch the egg in your in your hand. Here. Got it? Whoa, that thing looks huge. <laughs> okay, put it on there. Weighs 86 grams. 86 grams? These were fully hydrated eggs. Now they changed um, grams, they changed the weight. <clears throat> the scratch cloud, before it was 89 grams and now it's 86. And goo before was 95 and now it's 86. They're both the same after. EFS was 96 and now it's 73. You mean 92? 
92. 92 and 73 grams. So that one actually shrunk quite a bit. Yeah. So do you think it's better to eat separately mm -hmm. than to drink your food? Um, eat separately and to drink. Right, because what happens if you drink your food? That you're going to lose 20% you're gonna, dehydration. You mean you're going to become dehydrated? Yeah. Got it. You know, another experiment we could try is we can leave these eggs out overnight. So, in other words, let them shrink. Let them dehydrate because we know from those two eggs back there that when we left them out for over 48 hours, what happened? They got wrinkly and dehydrated. Right. And then when we put them back in water, they went back to their normal, normal form. Okay. So it'd be interesting to see if when we dehydrate these eggs over the next 24 hours, and then we place them back into the solutions, right, each one of the products, to see which one hydrates faster. So we're back 48 hours later and we're going to see how much it's dehydrated and then we're going to weigh them. Okay. Go ahead. Which one are you starting with? EFS. And how much, uh, how much did it weigh before it dehydrated? 73 grams. 73 grams? Okay. Go ahead. Four grams. Sixty-five. Sixty-five. Which one is this one? This one has a scratch collapse. That one was the key. Okay. Now we're going to put the eggs back in the solution for two hours. All right. Good luck with that one. Bye, bye, poor egg. That goo water is looking pretty nasty. Yeah. It had white stuff on top of it. But I think the goo is the strongest one. The egg that's been in the goo is the strongest one. Boy, that thing looks fragile. Mm -hmm. How's it feel? Feels fragile too. One weighs 53, well wait, 52 grams. Okay. Now I'm going to do the glue. Okay, one weighs 62 grams. Boom, scratch, flat. This one feels back, it's like, it feels like it's back to its normal size. Hmm. Oh yeah, it does look pretty big. What's the weight? 73 grams. So this one actually got more water. I mean more... Hydration? Yeah. And these two lost 